Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making a donut album. Now, um, I, I, I don't know how this came about, but I think Emma, who I sent a Halloween album to, posted her video. And when I saw that video in, I think it was January, I, was, I already had Valentine's Day on my mind. And I had said, oh, I should make a Valentine's Day donut album. And some of you guys responded to that comment and saying you would love to see that. So and that's what I'm going to do today. We're going to make a Valentine's Day donut album. So this die is from the KS Craft Store. I will have it linked down below. And we're going to be making a donut album. So I'm going to start off by cutting it, um, my patterned paper with this die. Now this is going to be, this is the layering piece of the um, main die, which this one I'm going to use um, heavyweight paper to cut out this main die. But the patterned paper is just going to be whatever scrapbook paper I have. And I'm actually going to be using some scrappies. I have a lot of Valentine's Day scraps from last year, from this year. And they've just been accumulating in this um, folder thing. So what we're going to do is go through this and pick out papers. Like some of them are bigger scraps, which is great. Because I could just cut out like a whole entire circle using up some bigger scraps. So first I'm going to go through this, see what um, papers I want to use. Then I'll start cutting out my circle. And it's okay if my scraps aren't big enough. Like for example, like this. I could still cut out this bottom part. You see how that will still give me half of a circle? That could either create a pocket or I could do like a little tearing technique or whatever. So this is fine too. I just wanna use my scraps. So let's pick out some papers. Okay guys, so I have some paper picked out. Um, some of them will give me full size pieces, like these two will go together. Um, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pieces. Um, then there's gonna be these ones that I feel like I just need to cut out first in order to see how I'm gonna put these together. Um, but I'm just gonna cut out a bunch of pieces right now and we're gonna see how they work together. I think I'm also gonna grab some heavy weight cardstock to cut out with this other piece. So like I said, the heavy weight cardstock is gonna be with this piece. So I don't, I can't decide what color to use. I'm thinking a very light pink, but I have to see what I have in my stash. Okay guys, I was thinking pink, but I'm not liking any of the pink colors to go with all of these. So I think we're just going to go with white. If there's one color I find it hard to match to, it's pink. Because look at all these different shades of pink. There's just so many shades of pink. So we're going to go with the white. I'm going to cut out a bunch of pieces with the white. All right, so I'm going to cut about, so I guess four sheets will give me eight pieces. So I'll cut four of those. And then we'll start, I'll start die cutting um, the patterned paper. And I'll be right back once I'm done die cutting all of that. So I'm not going to show that. But I'll be back once I run it all through my die cutting machine. So guys, while die cutting all of these out, I did a bunch already. And then I was like, wait, what if I score the paper in half? So all I did was take an eight and a half by 11, folded it in half, and I am die cutting it like this so that a little off the top overhangs. And that's going to create this fun little fold like this. So I'm going to add some elements like this into the album. I think this next one I'm going to die cut sideways. So it's going to open up sideways. So I'm actually going to die cut it like this. Wait, no, not like that. Like this. Because we need the folded piece to be on the edge. So then this will fold um, and go out that way. And I'm making it kind of like interactive. So that's fun. 
So this is how I'm going to die cut this one. And it doesn't like to go through this heavy duty cardstock twice. Um, so I do end up fussy cutting a little bit around it, which is okay. Okay guys, so I die cut it out and you could see it doesn't want to go through two pages. So some pieces are cut, some are not cut as you could see here. So I'm going to have to go in with um, just some scissors and cut around this. Okay guys, so now we have this piece cut out. Obviously I want this to open up like this. So I'm actually gonna cut this top one off um, where it would attach with the rings because I'm gonna keep the bottom one still there. Okay, so we took that one off. I'm gonna clean up this side a little bit. You see it didn't do such a good job die cutting here, but that's okay. We're gonna take care of it. Okay, so now I have something that opens up like this, and I'm just going to hole punch these holes with my 3 16th of a punch. So there's that first one. All right, guys, so there is this other one. How cute is that, right? Oh my gosh, I'm so happy I thought of that as I was die cutting this. I didn't even get to like the paper yet, but... That was a lot of fun. And now I'm gonna have more paper I'm gonna need to cut out in order to cover up these pages as well. But let me get back to die cutting. I just wanted to show you guys that. Guys, I couldn't help it. As I was die cutting um, the patterned paper, I was like, wait, why don't I start making this into like a junk, jur junk journal style? So then I even die cut some um, pink dyed paper that I made. And these ones, you're definitely going to want to put like some eyelets or something on here um, just to make sure that it doesn't get like ruined um, because these are, you know, thinner and I want people to be able to journal on it. There's just endless ideas apparently and my ideas just keep flowing as I've been die cutting. All right, I do have to get back to die cutting. I have all of these other pieces I still need to die cut. Okay guys, so I did a lot of die cutting. I cut out um, my plain pieces. So I might need more. <laughs> I am underestimating how much patterned paper I need, but I was really just trying to use up my scrap, so we might have to go back and make more. Here I have pieces that aren't full circles that I'm somehow gonna put together. Um, so I just paper clipped ones that I think are gonna go together. So this gives me about another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven about eight more circles I'm thinking one of these I might cut into like a strip and make like a little belly band so I have that also I have all of my white pa um, pages cut out I even cut out a card that I had so this was a card and I just cut this out so I could attach this to a donut as well and then this one would open this way I think it's cute but we might put like a colored paper on the inside um, just like a pink paper or something so we'll see what to do with that. And then I cut out some of these hole reinforcement stickers. I have to put glue on them. They're not sticky. Um, and I was thinking of putting these on these pages because I want these to be a little sturdier on the edges. So I'm just going to be using glue for that. Um, I didn't put on a sticky back on the back of those. So we're going to be playing around with the glue in order to get these stuck down. Now, I did use a 3 4 inch or no, 3 16 punch. Oh my gosh, I thought I was using 3 4 this whole time. So I cut out my circle to be a quarter of an inch on the inside. So it's going to um, kind of be around this thing. It's not going to be completely even. And I'm trying to get this in the middle. That's good enough. And I'm going to do it on both sides. And that will just give it some sturdiness. All right, guys. So now I'm going to get started on putting some pages together. I finished all of these. What I'm going to do next is actually line this inside. So I'm just going to glue it down. So I'm just going to line this by putting glue down. And then I'm just going to cut it out by hand. But this is that card piece that I cut out. And it's going to look weird if it's on like a white card and then, you know. So we're just going to cut it out. So I'm lining it up there, making sure it still folds. OK, 
Okay, this part's gonna get glued down to the donut. But we're just gonna cut this out. Okay guys, so that piece is lined. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side now. Okay guys, so we have a, that piece now. Um, what am I doing next? Okay, putting these aside, because those will just get thrown into the album. One of these is gonna be a cover, so I'm gonna start on the back side here, and I'm just gonna mix and match. That's what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start with this cover, I think. And I'm just gonna start putting them down, guys. Okay guys, so now I sped up the video because I am just adding the paper, so adding glue, adding it to the base, like the white cardstock base. Some of these elements I'm deciding I want to add a belly band, which is what I'm doing here, and I just cut out another strip of a scrap paper, um, and I put like a regular circle on the background, cut another strip because I wanted the outline on the belly band piece that I'm going to be including, and then cut that down. Then I use the circle as a guide to cut that out so I know kind of what size and how round my belly band should be. And then I only glued a little bit on the top and the bottom and then glued that down. So some other ones are going to get pockets um, like this one right here. And I'm actually going to be using a scrap of like gold foil paper that I have. So I wanted a kind of like a little outline just so it stands out a little bit more from the paper making sure that's stuck down completely and then when I glue that down I'm just going to glue on the outside of the circle so that the other part is still open and I could use it as a tuck spot. This next one I am doing like a ripping technique um, so this is not going to be a pocket or anything it's just a ripping technique because I was using up scrappies but I think it looks cute um, so I'm just doing that way like I just really am trying to use up my scraps. For the one that has um, uh, the opening element piece I'm just gonna glue a pattern paper on the front and then just like pink paper on the inside that's just a solid paper um, on the other side here I decided to add a top tuck spot so I'm still gonna tuck something in there that will be in part two of this video where we're finishing embellishing and decorating the album and adding in the little elements but that will be on part two um, and I'm just continuing gluing down my papers, adding pockets. So again, remember, when you're adding the pocket, you're just um, attaching the circle um, and not through the diameter. So not on the straight line, just around it. Um, and then the inside of this is getting the pink paper, like I told you guys before. Um, but yeah, you, you're just deciding how you want your album to go. Whether you want tuck spots and where you want those to go. Whether you want a top tuck spot, a pocket, a side tuck spot. Maybe you want a tuck spot um, behind the patterned paper, so I'm doing that here. And I was picking out which cut apart I want behind the paper. So you kind of just got to measure where you want that tuck spot to go. And then you're going to glue around that circle, but not where that tuck spot is going to go. Just so it could still kind of tuck in there afterwards. Um, so you got to decide where you want all those to go. And just glue down your paper. And again, I used 100% Valentine's Day scraps for this. This was all just scrap paper. And I was so happy I was able to make a project with it. Even the gold foil is scrap paper, guys. Um, the only thing that wasn't scrap paper was my um, pink dyed paper. That wasn't a scrap, but we will be using some scraps in the next video. And um, my other non-scraps were the white base paper because I needed some heavyweight cardstock for that. But all of the Valentine's Day patterned paper, I was just using scraps, guys. So you guys could follow along. You guys could make the journal the same way that I'm doing. You guys could do it differently. You could add more tuck spots or less tuck spots. You could add more ripping effects, add more pockets, whatever you want to do. But this is just how I am decorating my album. If you want to stitch around the pages, I recommend doing that before you glue it down to your base of my white cardstock. So you want to glue your patterned pieces together, whatever tuck spots you want, and then stitch around it, and then glue it down to the base of your pages. So I was thinking, hmm, maybe I should do some stitching after I already glued this down. 
but you can't really go back and do it, especially because I did some tuck spots behind the pattern paper. I could still do it on the pages that just have the pockets and things, but when, the, when there's a tuck spot behind the pattern paper, that's where it gets tricky because part of it won't be stitched and it would interfere with the back side of it. So if you're going to stitch, do your pattern paper together first before you glue it down to the base of the album. Um, so in this case, I'm actually just going to be stitching on the front cover, which you guys will see in the next video. And that's all the stitching I'm going to be doing. And then maybe some elements that I add in within the album. But other than that, I'm not going to be stitching around the pages of my album. So here I'm just adding another side loading pocket. And I added some gold foil um, around it just so it stands out a little bit more. We're going to add some... We're just using some more scrappies here, doing another ripping technique. Um, so I'm adding that to the one side, and then the other side, I think I ended up doing a pocket, which we're going to get to in just a second. So I was trying to figure out how to use that other paper. Um, oh wait, what am I doing here? Oh, I'm deciding on the next page? I don't know. So I guess the next page I decided I wanted to do another check spot. So I decided to skip forward to the next page and not even take care of the other one. I mean, it's fine. Whatever process works for you guys. So you got to mix and match um, and be a little flexible when you're making this. So I completely changed the paper I'm using on this other side. And um, although it looks upside down, it's not completely upside down because there's some love pieces that are faced my way. But then there's some upside down love pieces, but then there's some sideways. So this was just fine. And I made this another side loading um, kind of tuck spot where you could add more photos or cut apart or whatever it is. I added some more pink paper to the inside of another like top folding um, interactive element of my album and then I just added in uh, plain paper to this other back side and now I'm just kind of flipping through to see what else I want to add. So here as I'm flipping through my album I'm noticing I wanted another belly band so I used up that scrap that I ended up not using in the album and I just cut it down to make another belly band and then I cut down another little piece afterwards to make a tuck spot but totally forgot to film it but you'll see it in the flip through. Okay so now it's time to add the rings. I already added one and I'm just using pink rings. This is a Valentine's Day themed one so I definitely want to use my pink. And I'm just attaching my rings through all the holes. So you're gonna need three of them. Alrighty guys, so that is what the album looks like right now. I think that's gonna be part one. Part two, we're gonna make the cover and we're gonna add in all of the inserts and details. So part two will be coming, but this is part one for now. All right guys, and all I did was use scrappies. So I'm really happy about that actually. <laughs> I've been needing to use those scrappies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Stay tuned. Bye.